22-year-old Anthony Gethinju, who is pursuing a Bachelor of Science course at the University of Nairobi, says they came up with a plan at an industrial training institute in Nakuru after realizing that land sizes were shrinking at an alarming rate in both rural and urban areas while the population was ballooning. In fabricating the vertical gardens, the base is deliberately designed to be wider for stability and the subsequent tires gradually reduce in size and end up with a pyramid-like structure. Mm. The gardens are then filled with well-drained loam or red soil mixed with goat manure, which is part of the value addition on their part. When it comes to saving on space, that is, uh, the story garden occupies our 21 square feet. In the same space, you are going to plant uh, 16 vegetables or stems if you are to plant on the ground. They are the perfect boost to urban gardening and improved food security as one can grow indigenous vegetables such as jute mallow, also known as murenda, vegetable cowpea, kunde, African nightshade managu, spider plant, saget, pumpkin leaves, lisebebe and African kale, kanzira. We use uh, 130 stems in one uh, story garden. So in that we find that we are uh, maximizing on the space and uh, also increasing the produce that you are going to have. Right now we are targeting uh, uh, hotels. He says the group started off with two vertical farms which has now grown to 50. The youth group is now making good earnings from selling indigenous and exotic vegetables to leading hotels in Akuru region. The group has also ventured into strawberry farming, trying out a variety of the type of fruit. As much as uh, this is an income generating. We'll also like to help. We'll also like to help uh, other youth in coming up with the same idea. Going out there, not wasting time in maybe in centers and doing drugs and all that. Richard Kiyama, a land economic student at the University of Nairobi, says the type of farming increases financial returns and meets household vegetable requirements with limited space and resources. Uh, the challenge has not really been about getting the market but satisfying the market. We can also get into value addition so that we can make uh, things such as uh, juices and smoothies and uh, strawberry jam. The group's patron, Alice Kiyama, says they will also rope into the training program pupils and students from primary and secondary schools and technical vocational education training institutions once learning resumes in the country. When they do farming, they will enjoy it. And out of it, actually, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be busy. They won't be getting other things to do outside that are not uh, of use to them. Brian Sakwa, a crops expert at the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization in Joro in Akuru County, says that because of limited space in urban cities, the gardens offer long-term solutions to food shortages. He says that the idea can be used to supplement food production in towns and cities without relying on scarce land. However, he notes that while more people use urban gardens to produce food, it should be improved to cater for agroforestry and other sectors.